All right, ladies, what are we making in here? Cheese sticks. <laughs> making cheese sticks? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, folks, it looks like the ladies have made some banana cube, <laughs> and then they uh, hit the lumpia wrappers. No, 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 no. All right. That's a quesadillas going down, a little mini quesadillas. Mm -hmm. All right, good job, ladies. Mm -hmm. Look at that, folks, right there. And you're going to fry them? going to deep fry them? Papa, buy what? Mama, buy what too? Yeah, we got grass for you. Come on, eat the grass. Come on, Dada. Love it. Come on. Look, Yeah, he's cute, huh? That's baby papa. That's a chocolate moose the third. Chocolate moose, my goodness. Cute. Look. You're walking the dust. <laughs> All you see is his little white nose in there. There he is, little cute booger. I think that's his name. We're going to call him Booger. Hey, Booger. Looks like a little guinea pig. Hey, Booger. Folks, meet Booger. The newest addition to our rabbit kingdom. Maybe she doesn't like your grass better than mine. You just put a bigger pile over there. Ladies, ladies, put just a bit joking. I'm gonna get a bit joking machine. We're gonna do some bit joking. We'll see if you give you one thousand. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you ladies fifty pesos per song. No, if you sing no, on the no, no, I'm gonna waste my my voice in that. My voice is so expensive. <laughs> uh, you're not worth a thousand pesos. Uh, my, vo my voice is worth one thousand, ten thousand. Nah, I'll pay you. I'll pay you each fifty pesos a song. <laughs> no way. That's my final offer. I, that's my final offer too. My final one thousand pesos a song, man. I can. My goodness. No, one thousand per song. Not all, not all song. Like little bit song. My my voice is so expensive. You don't know that. Maybe thousand pesos a song. My voice is private only, like dinner time. I can get Ann Curtis to come over here and sing for a thousand pesos a song. That's too much. I'm going to. I'm my voice. My voice is. Then I'm Cortez, so you don't know? Baby. Nice. So give me a little sample, baby. Do a little sample and see if the viewers want to hear you singing. Come on. I told you my voice is expensive. They need to pay money, more money. Ay, 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 Come on, ladies, be a sport. Everybody wants to hear some good joking here. Yeah, you always love you. Okay, that, that was so bad, I'll pay you a thousand to stop singing. Folks, you see the pandemonium. The stress I'm under on a daily basis here with these ladies. Two ladies and two beautiful babies. My goodness. But I'm trying to get them to do good joking. If they would do it, I'd even buy a big joking machine. But they both claim they can't sing, they're too shy, they want a thousand pesos a song. Uh, it's a stress I'm under. I get no cooperation. And doing all this cheesement in Tagalog, I got no idea what they're talking about. I got no idea what they're talking about. Ladies, you let me know if you change your mind. I'll, leave, I'll even up it. I'm, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Since I'm feeling all generous here, I'm feeling real generous, okay? All right, now, now hear me out here, Jessica, okay? Now listen, listen. Instead of 50 pesos a song, ladies, ladies, focus. Instead of 50 pesos a song, I'm gonna make the deal even better. I'm gonna give you 75 pesos for two songs. Hey, you see, 75 for two songs? 
75, 75 for two songs. I'm upping the money. I'm upping the money, baby. Okay? Okay, I tell you what, it's my last and final offer. Okay? Four songs, and I'll pay you 100 pesos. Okay. Everybody's stupid, babe. I'm trying to make a deal here. Let's make uh, a deal. The one song is 25? Huh? The one song is 25? No, no, baby. The four songs is 100. That's my offer. Okay. Stupid! 1,000 for Baby, you have the potential for unlimited earnings. Okay? It's how long do you want to sing, baby? Huh? Here, just start singing this song here, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead. I must not know that song. <laughs> that must not have been in the big jokey jukebox growing up in the village. All right, baby, who's, in, who's interested? If you're interested, I'm going today. I'm picking up the big jokey machine, baby. No, we're not. Not interested? <laughs> okay. Alright folks, well I tried. Nah, nah. I can't go there. The math ain't adding up for me, baby. Yeah, ladies get my cooler cleaned out here, please. My goodness. Folks. I had a sack of rice in this cooler right here, and I didn't put the drain plug in. I don't know why. And I opened this thing up, and there was a big old roach in there, a million ants, because they were all over my brown rice. I had a bag of brown rice in there. It was like that brown, uh, that bag of rice was alive. Now, if I'd have had the drain plug in, they couldn't have got in there. And my bad. I was using this as a rice storage facility and it just uh, it don't work unless you put the drain plug in and make it uh... oh there he is right there kill that guy no, I'm not good. That, that's a <clears throat> God damn. there we go Okay, and ladies, when you finish with that cooler, just put it over here. That's gonna be the king's bench today when I hold court up in here. That's right here, gonna be my desk for the day where I can try to uh, talk to this camera about today's topic. And the reason I gotta come back here is because inside the house with two beautiful babies and two beautiful ladies, it is too noisy because these ladies are always doing chismas and making way, way too much noise. Y'all think it's all fun and games, hanging out with these beautiful ladies all day. Folks, it's stressful. It's stressful. Baby, breast violation. I'm not editing that out, not one bit. You voluntarily let those puppies hang and I'm not using my blur feature. I'm telling you, if you want me to edit that out, pay me 50 pesos, extra editing fee. And folks, Jessica is still a little shy, hiding from the camera because her boyfriend in America, she's afraid he's gonna see her on the video. Where's he from? Hawaii? What state? <laughs> Good job, ladies. That's an excellent, excellent job working on that sub Z. Uh, what's that? A 45 liter roto molded cooler. And folks, if you didn't see the review on this cooler, it is an awesome cooler. I actually think it's a real sub Z, not a knockoff, but it's got a basket and a uh, cutting board there. 
pretty sturdy cooler. It's been a good one so far, continues to be a good one. But if you want to store rice in there, make sure you put the drain plug in where it's airtight and the bugs can't get on it. What you doing over there, sweetie girl? You want to go swimming? Okay, sweetie. quiet space back here has turned into noisy space. See if I gave them enough things to do where everybody migrated to the back of the house then I could go to my office and actually make a video. Batima you're doing an excellent job on that cooler. I mean excellent job. Yeah of course she wants to go swimming. Hey, folks I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Can you turn the light on bro? I don't know if you're going to be able to see down in here, but this rice is like it's alive. Maybe you can't see. It is alive. There's so many bugs in there and they've been in there so long and the ladies do not like brown rice. They just want to get rid of it. They want to throw it out. All right, there you go. Now I adjusted the, uh, the game. It is alive. Maybe I make a current, just get rid of this. There's just too many bugs in there, that? too long. Mm -hmm. If it was regular rice, they wouldn't, they'd, they'd be washing it out, but they don't like the brown rice. Ladies, just get rid of it. There's too many bugs in there. I mean, that kills me to throw out food like that. And yeah, you can cook it. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. But there's a million bugs been living in there for... It's probably been a month since we touched that last. And with that big old roach, whatever you want to call it, living up in there, you know, eating, peeping, and po uh, peeing and pooping. I'm just not down with that. It's got to go. If it were just me, it'd be a different story. But with kids, I don't take no no risk whatsoever on food safety. And like I said, it's a point of friction at times because she doesn't want to throw things out. I just don't risk it. Not when it's coming to small children. And I said, there's so many bugs in there. Take it out to the trash right now. Just get it out of the house, you know? Anyhow, that's how I started my morning here uh, in the Philippines. It's a, sort of a cloudy day. You know, I don't want to say beautiful weather, but every day that uh, you're alive on this planet, breathing, walking upright, there's nothing to complain about because there's a lot of people in this world that do have a lot to complain about, legitimate complaints. So if I look out and there's a few clouds in the sky, I'm not complaining. Anyhow, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Thanks for joining us on today's video. I was set up to talk about a topic. Am I going to just continue the video like this or am I going to 